Hey guys, Eileen here, and this is my third video for today, but this is going to be a quick one. I just want to show you how I altered that Maya Road calendar that Carrie had sent me. It was a kit, and what I got in the kit was um, these metal bottle caps, the really big ones, and then um, these snowflakes, these wooden snowflakes were in them, and then these chipboard words. And then, um, so I used that, and then pretty much after that, I just kind of completely did my own thing and <laughs> didn't bother looking at the instructions or anything. So, um, so let me show you what I did. First of all, to make the base, I um, used two sheets of chipboard. And this is just, you know, when we got a big package before, there was like a big sheet of chipboard in there. So, um, I'm not sure what the dimensions are, but it's pretty big. Like, as you can see, this is my hand on one of the bottle caps. So this is, um, hmm, I guess I should have measured it. Maybe I'll put the measurements down in the, um, link below. But, um, so basically I took one sheet of chipboard and I did the edges with my Tim Holtz Black Suit Distress Stain. And then I cut another piece of chipboard, and I just used my craft knife. I cut the second piece of chipboard smaller to make it have a border. I wanted to use two sheets of chipboard because I wanted it to be more sturdy. Um, that way, with two sheets of chipboard, it comes out almost, you know, like light wood um, strength. So, And then for this one, I used um, Ranger um, self-adhesive metal tape to do the cor the edges um, since it matches the silver bottle caps and then the whole thing I misted with various um, different um, mists brown and some blue and um, so you probably can't see but in some places I let it kind of run a little and then um, there's a little bit of a glimmer in some of the places since it is um, some of it is tattered angels in the top I used my um, crop a dial to make these holes and then I just put a ribbon through it and right now I have it hanging on the door but downstairs where I have it hanging it hangs like on a little hook so you it just looks like there's just a big bow on top and you can't see the hook because the bow hides the hook so it came out really nice and I have it hanging in the kitchen and my husband and I have been using it already because sometimes it's convenient to just be able to like you know know the whole month or the whole year ahead right away and hopefully next year Maya Road comes out with like um the same kind of like <laughs> with these like the same shape and everything um and I can just put 2013 on <laughs> and like reuse it um so for the whole thing I used um graphic 45 once upon a springtime collection I um, like that's still one of my favorite paper collections ever so um, I just had to use what little scraps I had left and basically I um, cut out these circles I used my Spellbinder circle die so I cut the circles out and then I lined them with um, lace and all the lace I cut a little bit because it was too big so I cut it kind of where there was a natural like line so um, and then I pop them out with like some pop dots over there so it's like kind of like a distressed with metal with lace type look it's kind of like vintage modern um, and then uh, for the words I used my um, Wow embossing powder and al I alternated several layers of gold and silver so it's got like a very vintage gold and silver like distressed look let me show you came out really cool I love alternating several layers of embossing powders because it gives you like a very unique look so and then in different places I just added some flowers and some cut out images from the collection which I you know as I said I love it and then over here it's got once upon a springtime and then the kit had a sample photo
but she had the words lined up differently, so I rearranged them because I thought it made more sense to have winter on top. And then some, like, swirls, and um, those are from ZVA Creative. And um, the snowflakes are from the K and also by Maya Road. And the trick to um, having these bottle caps definitely stay on is I will show you. Well, hold on. I'll show you how I got them to stay on. Do you see these like brads in the back? See, it's just plain chipboard, and do you see the brads on the back? I'll tell you what I did. I used my crop dial for each one. I punched two holes with my crop dial. And then I just use these brads that are basically from like, you know, a supply store. So they're very, very cheap and they're big and gold and ugly. So you can't really use them for anything visible. And for each one, I would punch a hole here and here and I put the brads through. So what ended up happening is now it's held in two places. So these bottle caps are not going anywhere ever. <laughs> they are staying put. So, um, and then as I said, I put some pop dots on top, so even though the heads of the brads were kind of thick and big, they didn't get in the way because it's all popped up anyways. Um, and then for the snowflakes, some of them I put, this is Webster's Pages, and this is, I think, basic gray half pearls, and um, more ba basic gray half pearls and more Webster's Pages. And this is uh, Fancy Pants trim, and I put it on the back so you can only see the balls on this side. So this is how we came out. Um, trying to move back enough to do like a whole view. So this is the calendar, and as I said, it's um, very convenient to have it hanging downstairs. And my husband actually likes it. He thinks it makes for good home decor, which I'm surprised about because he's usually not overly enthusiastic about my stuff. So, um, But I must confess, I do like how it came out. And, of course, you can't really go wrong with, you know, graphic 45 paper. So thank you so much, Carrie. I loved my calendar kit. It was so much fun. And... Um, like I said, check out the wow embossing powders because they're super good quality. So that's how that came out with them. So thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you liked it and I'm going to go hang it back up downstairs. Okay, there. Thanks, bye. <laughs>